from Donisan 707. On today's video, we're going to show you the install of my new Ricker Bell from Z1 add ons. And I decided to do this by myself. I could have done this with the company, but I like to do things my, myself. So, any questions how I did it? Just comment below, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. I'm going to show you how to do it and enjoy the video. Okay, so today I'm very excited. I got a wicker bill from Z01 add-ons and I got it right here. And let's open it up. Okay, this is it right here. I just got this today. I've been waiting to do this for a while. Finally got it today. Let's see how it looks. I've been, uh, for months I've been thinking about doing this. You know, you have to do some drills in your uh, spoiler. But look at a lot of companies and uh, this is the best one so far. I haven't seen one that looks this good. This is the middle part right here. Man, it looks so nice. And then you have the bottom lip or the bottom, the first part. Man, look at this. So it's gonna go right here. Man. Oh my God, it's gonna look amazing. Boom, so we got that. And we got the hardware right here. Yep. This is the hardware. Oh. Alright, but before we do this, let me put all this back together. Before we do this, there's some things that we have to do first. We have to prep the car. And we have to remove this right here. So I'm gonna show you how to remove that uh, SRT it should take about three to four minutes. So I already uh, put the tape. I'm gonna use this to do the markings for the lines, but um, what I did is I made two markings here. I'm gonna start with these. I'm gonna have, since they're level, and then once I have this installed, this, this is gonna guide me to put these. I don't have to keep measuring it. So it'll be done. So I'm just gonna do these two, um, these two, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna get it right in the center. This is the point of no return right here. A little more. Do another one. Also make sure that when you're drilling, you're going with this, you know, you're perpendicular with this, okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to measure again and I'm going to make sure now I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to increase the drill, uh, the drill bits. I'm not going to just go with the 3 8 which is the final one to do the rib nuts. Okay so I went with the 3 8 
I already measured these two holes that I made and uh, they're pretty centered. So what I got to do now is fit these, uh, fit these uh, rib nuts in there. Okay, and they're really tight so I got to keep going until they fit in there. Good. That's it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And once we get that done, we'll see how it's going to look. These are the rib nuts. This is what's going to hold the wicker bill in place. So to be able to do that, we have to drill the holes, which we did, the three eighths. Now this is going to go in the hole and there's going to be a wall, which is this wall right here, right? So the plan is to expand these. Now there's a tool that's called the rib nut tool, I guess. And I didn't even get it. I don't think I should get it. So what I'm gonna do is, I got my ghetto rib nut tool that I'm, uh, I just created for my garage. And let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we're gonna have to go to Harbor Freights or order one online, which I don't wanna wait. But I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. So let's give it a try. Okay, what I got is this Allen wrench is going to hold the screw in place. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the screw back by pushing away this nut. As I do that, it's going to push this thing in and it's this right here, these walls are going to collapse or they're going to open up and it's going to hold this ribbon up in place. And let me take it apart so you guys can see it. Put this on, put this on the floor. So I got these washers in here. And I got these right here. So what it's gonna do is gonna push, it's gonna pull this nut in, and therefore it's gonna expand the rib nut. All right, let's give it a try. So what we do is screw all the way in. You want to see some screws in there so it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, uh, break the thread. So there we go. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this firm to the wall and now I'm gonna start as you can see that's spinning right so that's good good so we just listen right here Put the screw out. And what we do now is see if we can pull this back there we go so it works so I saved myself $20 just with this tool right here so what I'm gonna do is do the rest and I'm not gonna get you bored because I'm just gonna repeat the, same, repeat the same thing. So there you go. Okay guys, so what we did is I made sure that these two first two holes that I made were centered. Why? Because it's easier to see where's the center at. Using the camera, using the middle button and this line right here in the back lid. So I made sure, measure it like 10 times, make sure it is even and center so now what we did is we placed this one with these two holes done already with the rib nuts now what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark these holes and then i'm going to do the same procedure as we did for these two holes
I was gonna do it for you, but okay, now you do it yourself. Clean! So this is the, the, the wax? Yeah, we get this. It's uh, like a detailer. Once you wash your car, it works pretty good. It smells amazing. I'm gonna drink a little bit. See if it tastes good too. Because it smells awesome. Okay. <clears throat> this part yeah, that rag is wet. It's a part you You put your fingerprints on it. Dude, I'm not done. No you gotta hold it. That doesn't, that you can clean that part when you put it on. I know, that's why I'm doing it now. So I can put my hand here. So this area right here, I don't touch. Man, this thing looks so good. Love it. Yeah. Right, let me take this junk out of here. Man, I'm telling you, this install was so easy. Alright, as you can see, it got really dark in that video, so I had to cut it off and do it some other day. And here's the final product. So I'm very happy with the way it looks. And you can have a better view of how it's going to be once you installed it. A lot of people have been asking me questions, so here it is. Yeah, like I said, it got really dark, so... I had to cut the video and uh, show you today. So I went out and got some pictures taken and video. So here we go.